grinding and getting all right everybody we are back for game. round four round five and we have both x1 players right now we got dragon link for brett and we have chase playing dog and vote so let's see how dragon link is gonna combo out starting off Ooh, that i like that combo because you add uh either phantasme or Nocto Vision discarding Absa Router for safer. Yeah, that's clean. The opponent don't have a troll. Oh, we're about to full combo right here. So Absa Router adding Rocket Tracer. Brett is looking over the lines of play, seeing where does he go next. Now to me, if I'm playing uncontested on the first three searches, my opponent doesn't have an Ash unless they're holding it for something really, really phenomenal. Like LP. Yeah. Or they just have either Nibiru or board break cards. See, that's another reason why, like, I think I'm gonna cut some hand traps in my deck and put the Dark Rulers in, because like, especially against this deck, like, hand traps can stop a few things happening but like at the end of the turn they're gonna end up with a negate they're gonna end up with a buster lock something mm -hmm. so i think i'd rather just let them do what they want to do and my my fifth or sixth card hopefully one of them is a uh, dark ruler and get me there so i think brett just made one slight mishap he didn't chain the uh nocto vision uh summon to i mean uh, effect to the summon of uh striker, striker. So you had to waste a quick launch because you always want to hold the quick launch for if your opponent is in the Biru. So you have an extender. Yeah. Some, uh, seal, yep. Knock the vision, get some withdraw. He drew chaos space. That's pretty nice. Oh wow. That's yeah, his sacky. Hand is the nuts. His hand is le nuts. But, oh, he's going to the boot. See this I'm very worried about. I don't think he should be using the boot at this mo um at this time. I would just go and discard uh, Chaos Space, discarding Rocket Tracer, so that now I can add white um add uh, white and start playing the combo from there because I have the darks of the Absa Router in the graveyard already. I think he wants to hold the Chaos Space and the White Dragon combo just for the fact that his mom may have Nibiru. So he's trying to set up a Savage to negate or any any form of monster negate. And this, and then once he's safe from the Biru, he can extend further. But look at this. So he, this play right here, he already used um the boot sectors affect the special summon recharger and tracer from his hand. He's now going to the combo with LP striker, so he can use LP's effect. If he's putting the Biru's in there, he's left with two cards in hand. Once a chaos space. Yeah. So he needs another extender to get out of that one. I do think this is very greedy, but it will have a big payoff yeah. if it resolves out through. Dragon Man's gonna add Tiding. Uh, the dog is Dogmatica. In the invoke deck. Yeah, if Christian uh, wins out the next one, I'm gonna try to be pushing for him to, uh, to be on. I think he's playing like a spicy list. Okay, so he goes striker effect to pop the LP to add recharger to hand. I'm sorry, not recharger, uh, the tracer. Oh, the, no, rocket synchron. My apologies. Yeah, and then he, was, he has a pisty bring by the tracer so you can make the synchro now for Savage. One negate savage and a set tiding and a seal. It's it's not ideal, but I it's it's workable. Okay. Interesting lines, but all right. So he has at least one negate and two disruptions. So chases oh. down six cards, banished three for prosperity. 
Main decking Lancia. Yeah, I, I think I remember him doing that at Locals. Which is the right call. This format has a lot of uh, people trying to banish in the graveyard, just banish right. cards in general. Yep. And it doesn't really stop uh, dragons, but it does uh, stop a, their line of play when it comes to like black, white, and red MD and Levier. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe Brett misplayed. Uh, maybe it could be his first time on stream, and I definitely know my first time on stream was definitely a pressure-filled experience. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know. Maybe he just is nervous being on stream, and maybe he made one misstep that he couldn't have uh, came back from. It happens. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not bashing on him. So Seal uh, was chained at to the pay eight. Now, Curse L land is it a once per turn usage? Uh, yes. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. You can only use one. Yes. Yep. So each. he cuts him off away from his uh, search effect to this turn. And special summon Ecclesia. I'm um, surprised he didn't summon it in attack mode. He could yeah, just, the speed uh, of a Pitsy or yeah. Striker. Very intriguing. I would have definitely hit over Pitsy because he's still... That's a very... Or at least a Red MD because uh, Seal brought it out, so it has 0-0. Zero, zero. Maybe as a reason for not doing it. Um... I'm surprised he actually let that resolve. I am very surprised he let that resolve because now, see if he could have summoned it in attack mode, he could have just flirted least, negate the savage, and keep playing the game. That is so crazy. Because now we can Nadir Servant. Uh, yep, now we can Nadir Servant. If he uses Savage to negate, he just chain Fleur de Lee, and then uh, do it like that. Yeah. So now he's actually letting it resolve. He could send the Tis. Um, you can send the Tiss to add uh, Maximus. Maximus destroy Savage. You negate and you change for their to Lee. Um, do it like that. Yeah, it seems like that's going to be his play. Send the Tiss. Add Maximus. If he plays Maximus. I'd imagine he's on it. Yep. Yep. So now the Tiss is going to attempt to destroy the Savage. And then he's going to Savage Negate, and he's going to Chain Fleur de Lee. There we go. So, Brett still can... Uh, he can Chain the Savage to... Neg I guess not. I guess not. Because oh, he wanted a Brotar. Okay. But now, he's just going to Negate Brotar with Fleur de Lee. But he still has a Titan, so he can bounce back the Pisty or the Striker Dragon, or even the Red MD, to bounce back the Ecclesia so he can't get the Negate. Yeah, sure. But I think they're just gonna let it resolve. He discarded the chaos space. Oh. All right, that's still plus because that's a free draw card. Man, chaos space is just a phenomenal card. I'm, I'm surprised they even created this card. Yeah, you, chaos space is nuts, dude. That card chaos, should be at one. That card should yeah, be at one. <laughs> chaos cards have been in the back of the minds for any light and dark deck because. The ability to just draw any powerful arm, um, to search for any powerful card, and then also reuse them or mm. recycle them that can't be normal summon or set, and then getting a free draw. I'm. I love that card. So resolving with Apcolon to uh, send the schism. Yep. Right, contemplating. Does he want to do the tiding? Yes or no? His opponent still has a full grip. Five cards, only two cards on board. Man.
So he tidings Redum to add. Did he put Schism in his hand? No, he put something, something else in his hand. Set five. Wow. Sheesh. I think it just normal if he's playing. I would probably just try and banish multiple to destroy cards on the field, and then almost in the rocket synchron, make a hot red dragon if he's playing it. The hot red dragon card is kind of crazy, and you can destroy Which some is... of the battle and some of the tune her back. I'm thinking, I'm trying to see if there's a way that he could just make the Romulus up top and then use Pisty's effect again. He sent Romulus to the graveyard with the uh, Maximus effect. I take that back. Powerful. Very. I'm surprised he sent Maximus. How are you gonna out your own Pisty and Striker Dragon? I mean, Striker Dragon could just destroy Pisty, but like, I don't know about all that balls. If he's playing a second seal, then he'll be able to just uh, still push through for, uh, with that. Yeah. So activate Schism, summon the window, mm -hmm. send the Chaos Dragon. Interesting. And since this is, was an inherit summon, he still has the action to summon it uh, to special summon one more time. Correct. Yeah, it's responding in, in the response of Chaos Dragon level in respect. I guess he's debating destroying Maximus, checking how many cards is in the opponent's extra deck. He already got his use out of Maximus. Tripping. I would destroy Ecclesia, because it can't be destroyed by battle with the extra deck monster. Yeah. The Maximus you could just run over if, um, well, no, Wind is on the field, so. Well, he has that. a Saferd in Graveyard from turn one. Yeah, so, so he can banish and add the, uh, the Saferd back. I didn't get to see what he banished fully, but hey, Dark Ruler no more, so Wind is negated already had nothing to worry about now all right there's a normal summon and get the uh savage back more than likely if he's gonna play hot red dragon he's gonna flirt the lead negate okay because you uh, you went uh uh rocket synchron use the effect to summon uh possibly the absa router make it into a chaos uh chaos ruler yeah he just banishes the piss, uh, the striker dragon, some of the red MD. No, he just has to battle over it. Oh no, he gets so special because he's under dark. And he has Tiding with Chamber and Grievers. That's another extender he has too. Yeah. So, hmm. The opponent has three cards in the back row. Would you try to just make a Boral Sword, if anything? Just at least fight through? You can't kill the Ecclesia. Well, Red MD can kill the Ecclesia. Okay, he's just going to go into Hot Red with that. With that. Yeah, and you can, hot you can Hot Red negate the Ecclesia, so it can be destroyed by battle. Okay. And then you can actually... Um, well, it's already effect. Dark Ruler no more. Oh, so yeah, yeah. He can just fight through everything. I was just thinking, like, going to Boral Sword just to clean it up. But making the Hot Red, if you can make Boral Sword with the Hot Red now... Oh, if it inflicts battle damage, he doesn't get the special summon a tuner. Yeah, because of Dark Ruler no more. Yep. Alright, just as we expected, clear the board up, make it, make the second, second seal, seal yep. hold the levy for next turn to blow up more cards. And you can still attack over a window with uh, RDMB.
Dragons is showing its resiliency. Is that another Scarlet off the top? Sadness, but so. we're gonna try to pay eight one more time. Pay it feel great. Now this is what I'm worried about, cause I, as a hot, uh, with hot red, I kind of have to negate that, cause if they if they drew a spell trap and they add Golden Lord, Golden Lord is gonna be sending my hot red, and I can't negate that. Yeah, so I would negate. So he has Tiding as, and Seal as a possible interruption for it. And he goes to Seal Ride one more time. Yeah, so he's probably going to summon... Man, Chase is just trying his hardest right now to catch a break. Ooh, so he plays two safers. I do know a lot of this are playing like at least multiple safers, sometimes even three, so they can just constantly cycle levier. Yeah, I remember back in the day they maxed that on safer. That's one card combo. Elixir. Um I think that can resolve. Wait, no. Um, well, can he? I don't if, think he can because no, Winda. Can. Did he special summon this turn? No, it was uh, Brett who special summoned for Seal. Oh, okay, you're right. Yep, yep, yep. So. That was a very risky play that worked out in uh, Brett's favor. So Brett has either drop this or quick launch, it looks to be. Yeah, just some of the chaos dragon at least. Alright. Probably banishing to destroy. Yep. It's crazy how just generically good light monsters and dark monsters are. Like so much synergy with Man. light and dark compared to every other art every other yep. type or I'm sorry, attribute, like and what Chaos Space is just... Like, he hasn't even used Chaos Space's effect yet to draw a card. Zero. <laughs> Zero. He, he can just cycle back that Spheres back into the deck and just make another Spheres again. And he can cycle back Pitsy and Opie. Yup. Yeah. Ooh. Tiding. Bounce the Levier back to bounce the Shadal. That should be game. Yeah, and he's scoops it up. Alright, game one goes to Brett. Oh, he drew Joplet, so he made the... So, this could be similar to the guy that got uh, first place of the LCS, mm -hmm. uh, playing both Dark Ruler and Droplets in the main. He had multiple ways to just break boards with it. Yeah. It's a good it's a good call. I'm, I would think more Dark Ruler and more than Droplets, only because Dark Ruler and more has no investments. I just need to play the card, respond to yeah. this card directly. Uh, I mean, this, this deck is sort of a one to two card combo deck, so it could afford to do it. Discarding cards for droplets. Yeah. Or, or sending cards for or droplets. Or, like, you can just, like, even if it's crazy, you can go activate quick launch, and then the opponent negates it, and then you chain droplets, sending the quick launch, so it gets a free activation out of it. It's like diagram and yes. play spells. Yes. So, I think that's why he's opting to play droplets, because he's playing so many spell cards that just, like, bait out and that's worth baiting out of negate, and then you just chain droplets, negating all the monsters. So, I, I think it's very, very good. Uh, droplet and Dark Rule in the main. Um, but it's just, it, see, those cards are sort of not good against, like, uh, one monster decks or, like, trap decks. Like, that's, you hate to see it when you're playing against a trap deck. Yeah. That's the only thing I hate about maining those type of cards. But, like, then again, the trap decks are just playing Dragoon, so, like, it has a natural usage against every trap deck, so it, 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 it still works out. Brett is being very, very ballsy. He's setting out Ash Blossoms. Sheesh. Why? I don't know. To me, against a, a deck like this that needs to draw cards, 
Alright y'all, this needs to search for cards. I'm keeping Ash. It hits Nadir. It hits uh Ecclesia. Uh, Akalone. It hits uh punishment. Uh well, no, uh, Punishment isn't a cost. No, or, no, oh, but, no, since no, it's from the action. It, it, like uh, Titan Clad. Uh yeah, Titan Clad, uh what else it hits? Uh invoked hits Alistair, meltdown, terraforming. Red Eyes Fusion if they play it. Red Eyes Fusion. Indeed. Scarlet. But man, I guess he I would I would assume like you're only siding with the ashes because you want your opponent to play and you're playing cards like evenly matched lightning storm just so you can get more value out of it. Yeah. Chase opens game two and he's gonna activate pay eight feel great. And let's see. Chase is, Chase is looking like he has two ash balls in his hand. Mm -hmm. Hate to see it. Oh, so Chase is taking the play from Enrique, searching and then setting one. Probably just doing their best to not just walk into an evenly match or a lightning storm for infinite value. Brett starts out with a chaos space and discard a light and dark. What do you think it's going to be? Safer, Astro Router. Oh. Chain. Dragon made. And it gets ashed. And he has a Safer, a Tracer, I think another Chaos Space in hand. Oh, Lancey on a resolution. Jeez. Oh, he's a Harpy's Feather Duster. Looks like a dark ruler. I don't know what that second spell is in his hand. So, because we can see both hands and everything, I still feel like just passing is good because even if he just go, oh, he has prank atop too. So it's prank atop, dark ruler, and harpy. So at that moment in time, I would just legit pass. If my opponent plays, I would then just uh, summon the prank atops. And then Tracer. Or even hold the Tracer for uh, if you jaunt under the Chaos Space. Hmm. So I guess he's going to go Striker, Search, Striker Effect, pop itself, add Tracer back to hand, summon Prank Atops. Uh, I guess he can add back. Hold on, I'm curious. Yeah, I guess that would be the play. Yeah, that at like, least netted him a card out of the deck instead of just passing. Oh, he just left the striker dragon up. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Unfortunately, well, I guess Chase... actually, I guess that was the play around like cosmic or something. But if you're just gonna know. do that, don't don't play at all. Yeah, I'll just activate striker, add back tracer, and pass. And then Panker Tops. I would summon, I would summon Panker yeah. Tops. Oh, that's kind of crazy. But Chase was unfortunate. He drew uh, Invocation. So he just sent Alice, uh, Golden Lord that he searched for, Curse Elland, and Invocation to send the Striker. Sheesh. And that wouldn't have been able to happen if he linked away. I mean, if he would have added back. Either, uh, either add the Tracer back or don't play at all. Yeah. I mean, I would have added back Tracer because like, that's literally just a free card. He he had Tracer, Pank, uh, Dark Royal Harpies, and that play could have just added him Book Sector. Yep. That would have been a free extender. But now he's going to be taking... Uh, Conquistador should have only 500, 500 stacks, so he's going to be taking 4k. Yep. Alright, and... Um, he already sent a Scarlet... I mean, um, a Hakuero to Graveyard. Brett won game one. Uh, Brett. Alright. Sets a Scarlet. Now, this Harpy Feather Storm Duster is going to be super clutch.
Okay, Harbor's Feather Duster. Special Summon Prankatops to a side of the zone you don't want to be around. So you're going to at least have uh, a full zone to start dragonling combos. Looks like he drew Droplet. Nice. So he drew a second. Oh no, so he has Droplet, Dark Ruler no more, Prankatops. See, if he would have had back that Tracer, that would have been clean. Yeah. But I mean, now he can Boot Sector, Special Summon it back from the graveyard. But he's only going to get one summon. So he, at best he could Actually, do. Actually, he's doing this without his normal summon, so that's kind of fine. But now he's still able to Boot Sector, summon it back from the graveyard, because there's a difference of one. With only one targeting grave, really. Correct. So I guess it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> so now Tracer's on board. It's crazy because you can't use Tracer effect because it, it locks you out of uh, anything but Dark and the extra deck. Yeah. Unless he's going to go... He should be playing Chaos Ruler then. If he's going to go this play, you pop the Fuel Spell, you get Recharger, you make Chaos Ruler... Oh, Ash. All right, so was ne that was never going to happen. But if it did, yeah. make Chaos Ruler, mill five, hope the five is Saki. Because right now you're, you're staring down two Golden Lords... A Scarlet in Graveyard, so that oh Scarlet and a Con Conquistador. So next turn, he's gonna get another card. Yep. I just set droplets. Pass. Droplets. If he ends up drawing a Alistair, Ecclesia, any way to start combo, uh, playing his deck. Hopefully. If Chase draws an a, a Nadir, it brings him back into the game. Absolutely. It's just a prank, bro. We were meaning to do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He drew a spell. What is it? If it was a deer, windmill slam. If he's thinking about it, it's not a deer. Yeah. And it's not a deer. But he's going for the train. Oh. Oh yikes! No, I think you. Oh. This this got you awake now. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh man. That's an interesting because if he pops it, he's able to use Elixir and Grave, set a Golden Land, then Elixir. For, yeah. Oh, you drew Call by the Grave. Yo, that's sick. That Pankatos was never dead. resolving. Oh man, he might be dead. Yep, that's kind of crazy. He gets uh, two attacks. Wowzers.com. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah, that card is nuts. Man. Choo choo. Dark Ruler no more and drop is not looking good right now. Wait, did he not set the droplets? No. Yo, that's wild in. Dot com. Wouldn't like, that have helped him? Yes. Yeah. That would have negated the card. He's just, uh, Got great. <laughs> Got him. Oh, man. All right, gets a, re gets a replay now. Oh, I best like this play it out. Let me see. It. Let me see. Show me how you kill me, please. Because I don't get it. Train go choo-choo, bro. 
Yeah, it should be in, man. Man. Oh, he's okay. Oh, yeah. Tracer to live long. Summon something that special. No. Oh yeah, they don't play. Um, they don't play the uh, the guys that like when they die they special summon right. They don't play any of those cards. No. Just Jason re recharge. Yeah. Yeah, Garonis. Okay. So Brett buys his time for another turn. With just Dark Ruler and Droplet, that, that next but, card. Hey, any any solid uh, dragon as a starter that can build itself to extender can work. So uh, Remember, red, is, a black metal. Chase is about to uh, access both a golden land and a uh, elixir from the graveyard. Oh, you're right, and yeah, so, it scoops it up. So yeah. Chase gets game two. All right, going to game three. Brett going first. Theoretically. So as a dragon link player, to me, if I'm going against a uh, control deck, a back row deck, eldritch deck, I'm taking out personally. Droplets are not good going first. Correct. Uh, Dark ruler no more. Not good going first. I wouldn't even play it against that deck. Uh, I'm siding to straight back row hate. Correct. I need back row hate. Going second back row hate. I don't care. I just need back row hate. Even if you tell them to go first, like oh, you that, could kill that's them. That would be a good mind game too. Yes. If you uh, lightning storm evilly match, uh, cosmo cyclones, stuff like that, just to pinpoint yeah. on them to say that all right, you can go first. Your your best ability is Alistair invoke. At that time, Dog. I should have the ashes. I don't know why he cited the ash. That's yeah, that's a little bit. <sighs> but if he just going first in general, if your opponent now needs Nibiru, uh, Ash, Bell, Droll, those cards to slow me down from playing my game. Yeah. I want to make a board of Seal, Savage, Hot Red, Titan. That is the average board. Correct. So hopefully he can get to accumulation of that. Yep. Or he could just. Pass to go second and then do the back row hate. Honestly, I'm sort of in that mindset. Okay. I usually do that a lot, especially with players that are like lower tier. Uh, are you sure about that? I do. Oh, okay. I bricked game one, and we both know that. <laughs> I bricked game one. I couldn't play. But it's it's unless you're heavy signing for the back row uh, back row decks. I don't think a trap deck should ever go first. If I have control of it. That I, I would not do that unless I know one billion percent. I have like infinite hate for them. Yeah, because you just don't want to play through it. It puts it puts too many factors. I rather have the easy way of saying your trap deck now has to open hand traps or board break cards mm -hmm. to beat my deck. Yeah, to each their own with this specific one. It looks like uh, they are just about to finish siding, so we can go ahead and get right into it. It looks like Brett's ready. So, just want to know, like, how would, if you were playing, if you were Chase, what would you put in? Or what would you be taking out? See, I don't know the side. Um, I would imagine, I would imagine that I'd be going second. So, obviously, hand traps, anything that's going second, dark roller, no more. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Uh, I would imagine he'd be signing droplets. That's not a good card to side it, especially against this deck. Because the dog invoke deck can't really kill you unless you, you, you resolve Purgatrio. So... In this case, I would probably side Dark Ruler um, only if he's playing Dragoon, which I don't believe he is. Okay. So not having access to Dragoon is very rough when dealing with a board, especially with a Dragon Link board. Um, I don't know, maybe evenly matched uh, Dark Ruler, um, some way of mass removal, Lightning Storm Dark Ruler, yeah, something like that. Hopefully that's in Chase's deck, and looks like they're actually about to start right now. Okay. All right, let's get right into the match. Which is, I hope, I hopefully I can see from Chase the Lightning Storm because uh, a lot of Dragonlink players have, been, have always been putting their cards in attack mode because they have bigger attack than defense. But looking into it now, Chase may not have opened that many. Brett opened to Ash. Nato. He I think and Black, Black Dragon, Dragon. Oh, he passed. He, passed. he has no real. He has no starter card. Not a normal summonable dragon. That's Ninja very twin. rare. Jeez. Yikeronis, Batman. Well, and for Damien, he just uh, scooped it up because he, he couldn't really fight through the train again, if anything. 
But Chase started out with a cursed. Add Golden Lord. Pitch to to send the uh the cursed. Now activating curse effect to send to graveyard. Just a reminder for you guys, the 30 second clock is for the non-stream event players. So they have 20, now 25 seconds left in the time. Wow, Chase with a call by the grave on the Ash. Oh, is that so double knock? Double knock though. Oh my goodness gracious. That's kind of breezy. These are things we talk about, like sometimes you just open clean, sometimes you just... You brick and you just had to fight through it. Yeah, it. Looks like he's just about to. We haven't seen. We haven't seen any of the invoke cards. Attack for 3k. Mm -hmm. 35, yep. So he has a punishment and Haquero set. Yep. And he still has a Conquistador to set another Scarlet. Alright, oh, so. Getting kind of brazy. Brett, at this time. Hopefully, Brett has like a pot of desires or something in his deck so he can draw two cards. Because he needs two cards to play through a one destruction. Let's see. You can't even if draw like a lightning storm ass card because no. he still can't play. He has to draw like. He needs to draw light, a, light, a light monster. If you can draw into a light dragon, uh, safer. I mean, even then, like that, that white dragon, he's just going to. Um, there you, you go. It. Nice. So now the black dragon in his hand can become live. The Noctos he can pitch to add Absorouter in his hand, if anything. He can even send Safer itself to add the the white dragon or a tracer. Yep. He his opponent has no cards in hand. He passed. So his opponent Chase has to know like, okay, this is the only card in his hand that's like relatively good. I need to destroy it and I need to banish it both in that yes. order. So if but, he can destroy and banish, oh, so. He allowed the summon to go through. Oh, he, he goes just... into a striker dragon. Oh, he didn't even activate safer. So he's chain blocking. Now he got his play open. I'm curious as to the other set card. Punishment. I actually would have punishment. Uh, I I think right now he can wait. Because uh, he still has a... Um, we know he has Aquero. Brett doesn't. All Brett knows is a set Scarlet and two unknowns. Correct. So adding the boot, I think right now you have the punishment. You got to. Yep. Send it to us. Pop the striker. And now here comes Black Dragon. Striker Dragon. I'm surprised that card doesn't say you can only special summon this card once per turn. That card would have made it a lot more fair. <laughs> Man. One card, uh, a lot of the Link ones are very powerful. Yeah, exactly. This is the most powerful Link one since, like, Balinx. And, like, Balinx shaped the format. Like, Balinx, Link Ross, all these Link ones are becoming absolutely absurd. Mm hmm. Alright, so now. Goes into Romulus or Spheres? Romulus. Romulus, yep. And then he's going to get the tuner. I mean, he's going to get the equip spell more than likely. No, I don't think he plays the equip spell, so Ravine? Okay. Uh, Ravine, okay. Uh, not a lot of Dragon players are playing the, the Lance. You will, I would play the Lance. That I definitely would play Lance, yeah. It's a, it's a You add bricks to the deck, but if you just have the normal combo, if you open Lance, all right, just search Ravine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. Brett can't fight through <laughs> the Haquero or the Nether Scarlet and everything, yep. and he scoops it up. And that's the match. Chase wins. Wow. Sheesh, that was. That was very, very back and forth. It was hard to tell who was a clear cut winner. 
Except for well, Bray. Case wins in time. Who? Case wins oh, that was a time. Oh, time. Okay. Man, Brett just going like drawing and pass. Oh, not looking at his five cards and his passing was just very devastating. Opening up yeah. double Nocto, Black Dragon. That deck has so many one card starters, two card starters. You can't even see a starter he, in five a cards. Normal, That's kind of crazy. Summonable Dragon. Yes. That's so many in the deck, and he couldn't draw one of them. That That's hurts. Real, dude. Man. Hey, shout out to Hunter. Blair. Jeez, let's go. <laughs> Start the trend. Let's so, go. So, that was just round five. Those are both X1 players. Yep. Uh, Chase finishes up now. Moving on to round six, still staying X1. Two more rounds. Brett still has a shot. He has to fight through and win the rest to hope for tiebreakers to get him in the top eight. Yep. But, man. Not a single starter. That was rough. Game one was rocky. Game two was just train out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've been wanting to train so much now. I know. And then going to game three, we're just looking at the five cards. Like, I know that feeling. There's been many times I look at my cards and I'm like, there's 40 cards here. Any of them could just allow me to play the game. Exactly. Uh, you've placed three quick launch. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sue just like uh, two synchron, like everyone else, two synchron, two tracer. Like,. Uh, he's playing two safers at least because we saw the two. Yep. Uh, at least one chamber made because we saw at least one of them. Like yep. he has so many cards, this normal summon into a dragon. It, very unlucky. This is very unlucky. It's crazy. But hopefully we'll get another good match soon. Round six is coming up, guys. Make sure to stay tuned. Yes. Bling blah.